we got ourselves a banger of a practice today. What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back into another video and I'm sorry I've been gone the past couple of days. I haven't been able to recap a lot of what's been going on in Giants training camp but as of right now I am back. I don't know if there's going to be any other days I can't cover but I'm going to be trying to do as much as I can. Today was loaded with playmakers. Offense, defense, everybody ate. Got a lot of information to go over, but first, this video is being sponsored by BetUS, America's favorite sports book. Right now, BetUS is offering a 125% sign-up bonus up to $2,000 on your first three deposits. Now, I'm not good at math, but if you put down $1,000, that means you're going to have about $1,250 to work with. Now, if you ask me, that's a deal. Now, the season hasn't started yet, but you could put down some player prop bets before the season even starts. If you check out the quarterback prop bet for 30 plus touchdowns, you'll see Daniel Jones all the way at the bottom. And for everybody that thinks Daniel Jones and the offense are going to succeed this year, that's plus 4,000. I mean, I would take that. I mean, Jones with Malik Neighbors, Jalen Hyatt, a couple of running backs that can catch the ball at the backfield, Theo Johnson, and a revamped offensive line, he may hit 30 plus touchdowns. And if you bet now, you'll win big. Click the link below and make sure you guys use the promo code JOIN125. And as always, bet responsibly. Today is a double upload type of day. So if you guys haven't checked out my most recent video talking about Evan Neal and the new signing of Greg Van Roten, make sure you click this card up above or just go back into my profile and look at it when you're done with this video. But the Giants did make an addition of Greg Van Roten. And as of right now, with JMS being out, well, it's a small injury. He's not on the pup list. He's nothing crazy. He's just been out the past couple of days. They've got Greg Van Roten at center today. And Aaron Stinney was filling in at right guard. They're just trying to put out their best five out there. And I'm all for it. I don't care who is what at what position, but I want my best five out there. And honestly, that's how it should be. Tyler Newbin is back from his injury he is finally able to practice however Shane Bowen did say that the starting strong safety spot is Dane Belton's to lose it's his job to lose right now it is his job to lose so so although Tyler Newbin being that second round pick Dane Belton has done a lot especially going back to OTAs you guys know he, he's been a little bit of a ball hawk throughout his career and he's showing uh, a lot of uh, talent in this uh, training camp so far all right, as always, let's start off with the offense. We've got Daniel Jones, who's coming off of probably his worst training camp up to this point this year. This is now his best training camp up to this point this year. So you love to see a rebound. You guys know that I've been very critical of Daniel Jones. I'm one of the guys that wanted a quarterback in this draft, and we, we've kind of been shunned out of the community. But listen, when I tell you this, I want Daniel Jones to have the best practices. I want him to have the best career with the Giants. If the Giants don't need to draft a quarterback, I am all for it. And it is great news to find out that Daniel Jones had a phenomenal day today as he was 11 of 15 today. He was on the money, uh, two touchdowns, one interception. He came out the gate firing on all cylinders as he completed his first four consecutive passes. The first one being a stop route to Darius Slayton and the second one being a beautiful seam route to Theo Johnson. I hope we get to see more of that. That was Eli Man one of Eli Manning's best plays was the seam route to any tight end. It didn't matter if it was Will Ty. It didn't matter if it was Larry Donnell. It didn't matter if it was Kevin Boss. Anybody, he was hitting that tight end in the seam. He also hit Jalen Hyatt on a deep pass that I will be fair to say it was a little bit late and it did come down. They still have to work on their chemistry. We know we knew this from back last year. Jalen Hyatt, he's just extremely fast and the way he glides downfield is almost uh, mesmerizing. So uh, Daniel Jones still has to get chemistry with Jalen Hyatt, man. But it was a completed pass. It was not a touchdown. It could have been. Dane Belton was able to catch up. Um, still a good pass. The interception we'll talk about during the defense. They also worked the short game very well as they had a bubble screen to Wandale Robinson and a short pass that had a big gain for Tyrone Tracy. Locke also got involved today as he probably had the best pass of the day as a lot of the uh, beat writers were saying. 
that he had a pinpoint pass to Isaiah Hodgins downfield. I still yet to see that video in particular, but maybe I'll see that during editing. Now, the defense, especially more specifically, the linebackers had a phenomenal day today. First off, we gotta talk about the main man in the middle, Bobby Okereke. He was excellent in coverage as all the linebackers were pretty much excellent in coverage today. He had a tipped pass that wound up being just a pass defense, incomplete pass. Then he had another tipped pass that fell into the hands of Deontay Johnson. That was the Daniel Jones interception as Deontay Johnson has been working with the second team. And I'm wondering why, what's going on? Why is Deontay Johnson taking snaps away from Micah McFadden? Now I am worried. I can do nothing but pray for this man's downfall, okay? I know Micah McFadden would take those interceptions to the house. Another linebacker that's been doing well in coverage is Isaiah Simmons. We know that the Giants have big plans. More specifically, Shane Bowen has some big plans for uh, Isaiah Simmons to have him have a specific role on the defense. He had himself two tipped passes that ended up being an interception working with the second team and they both ended up in the hands of UCLA undrafted free agent safety Alex Johnson. Now we know Johnson is a bit of a ball hawk as well. He had five interceptions with UCLA last year and coming in as being an undrafted free agent rookie. He also had the first interception of OTAs in the offseason if you guys remember that. So it looks like he's always had a knack for the football and it's carrying over into the NFL. I'm excited to see what we get from Alex Johnson. The safety position is kind of crowded right now. It will be interesting if Alex Johnson finds his way over to maybe the 53-man roster. I really doubt that with how much safety we do have. But I definitely think he he's a guy that the Giants would think about bringing into being on the practice squad. Deontay Banks also got involved with a pass breakup intended for Wandale Robinson. And there were a couple of guys up front that had themselves a day as well. Nacho has been turning some heads in uh, training camp and OTAs. Like he's a guy that I've seen in the middle that looks like he's going to be winning that role as the second defensive tackle next to Dexter Lawrence. As I predicted, a lot of people thought it would be Jordan Phillips, Phillips the late addition free agent from from Buffalo, but I think it's going to be Nacho. He's a second year uh, New York Giant, so uh, we'll see how he's utilized in, um, you know, now Shane Bowen system. But he had himself a good strong run stop along with Kayvon Thibodeau and Boogie Basham found themselves in the backfield quite often in this practice. All right, that concludes it, man. That makes me excited for this this team and watching them out there i can't wait for these preseason games that i believe start next week it's gonna be awesome i can't wait we're gonna be breaking down film all of that I um, want to thank BetUS for sponsoring this video. As always, guys, bet responsibly and make sure you guys use my link if you guys are interested in signing up. A lot of you guys want to find ways to help support this channel, and that is a big uh, part of it. Signing up with BetUS and, of course, using their uh, sports book. That being said, guys, that is the video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.